Pulsars are one of the most exotic astronomical objects. But what is a pulsar? To understand more about a pulsar, we first need to know more about neutron stars. Neutron stars are only around 12 miles in diameter, but have somewhere around one and a half times the mass of our sun. What that means is that one teaspoon of neutron star would weigh somewhere around a billion tons. Neutron stars are just one possible way that a large star, four to eight times the mass of our own sun, can end their long lives. As the star's fuel slowly runs out over time, it can no longer fight gravity and collapses, violently exploding in a supernova. The star collapses so hard that its shell is completely blown off, and the protons and electrons in its remaining core are smashed together to form a tightly packed ball of neutrons. During this wild explosion, the remaining neutron star is put into a spin. And just like a figure skater begins to spin faster as she pulls her arms in towards her body, as the star's mass is compressed more and more, the neutron star begins to rotate faster and faster. In physics, this is known as the conservation of angular momentum. And the result of this is a neutron star spinning fast, very fast, even hundreds of times per second. The neutron star now contains a tremendous amount of energy. So much energy that it begins to shoot jets of particles out of its poles. And these jets create extremely strong beams of light. For a long time, scientists were confused because they would detect pulses of light in the form of x-rays, blinking in consistent intervals, but couldn't explain why. And finally, after years of dedicated research, they discovered that they were actually seeing the light beams of spinning neutron stars as they passed directly by Earth. Kind of like a lighthouse's beacons being seen by a ship on the sea. Scientists now realize that many, if not all, neutron stars produce these light beams. However, not many of them, very few in fact, cast their beams directly towards Earth. Therefore, we refer to neutron stars that allow us to detect their beams as pulsars. But regardless of their spin, eventually neutron stars and pulsars gradually slow down and finally come to a stop. Their jets turn off and their beams are no longer shining. They simply lie dormant and virtually undetectable in space. Since their discovery in the late 1960s, nearly 2,000 pulsars have been detected. Inevitably, we'll continue to discover more and more of these unusual objects. And as we continue to gain more of an understanding about pulsars and neutron stars, we also gain a better look into how stars mysteriously end their long lives.